In the dimly lit hallway of an unassuming home, a large oval-shaped portrait hung, its polished wooden frame gleaming in the soft light. This antique photograph, measuring two feet high and a foot wide, depicted a young woman, her shoulders and face captured in eerie black and white. The woman's hair, styled in a manner reminiscent of Princess Leia's iconic cinnamon buns, framed her ethereal features, while her white dress, adorned with delicate embroidery, added to the timeless elegance of the portrait. The story of this photograph and the woman it portrayed was one that had been passed down through generations, muttered about in hushed tones and accompanied by a sense of unease. It was said that the woman's father, Seamus O'Connor, a man known for his love of whisky and his frequent visits to the local watering hole near the Warm Springs Reservation in Oregon, had once drunkenly declared that he would marry off his daughter Aoife O'Connor to the first man who offered a decent price. The reason for this desperate proclamation was Aoife's alleged withered hand, a condition that remains a mystery to this day, as the hand was not visible in the portrait. Little did Seamus know that his words would be taken seriously by a Native American man named Takoda, who had just stepped into the doorway of the tavern. Takoda, who would later become Aoife's husband and the family's future great-grandfather, offered a price that had since been lost to time. The other patrons, holding the drunken Seamus to his word, witnessed the unconventional union of Takoda and Aoife, a marriage that would determine the course of the family's history. As the years passed, the photograph of Aoife became a cherished family heirloom, handed down from one generation to the next. However, with each new custodian, a sense of discomfort and unease had begun to grow, as if the portrait itself held a mysterious power. Many claimed that Aoife's eyes seemed to follow them, no matter where they stood in the room, and some even reported feeling a supernatural presence emanating from the photograph. The owner of the portrait in 2017, Emma, a descendant of Aoife, initially brushed off these claims, finding the photograph to be a beautiful and intriguing piece of family history. Aoife had always been somewhat of a mystery, with few details about her life known to the family. The only other piece of information that had been passed down was that she had died when Emma's mother Grace was just five years old and that she had always kept her distinctive hand hidden from view. Despite the lack of concrete information about Aoife, the portrait remained a treasured possession. Even over the multiple periods, it was relegated to storage due to the discomfort it caused some family members. Emma's grandmother Maggie had kept the photograph in storage for years before passing it on to Grace, who, after nearly a year, gave it to Emma's youngest sister, Lily. It was then that Grace revealed that strange and creepy occurrences had taken place around the photograph, though she refused to divulge any further details. Lily, who had had the photograph for a couple of years, eventually asked Emma to take possession of it, citing the same feelings of unease and the uncanny sensation that Aoife's eyes followed her wherever she went. Visitors to Lily's home also reported experiencing the same unsettling phenomenon, with one man even refusing to walk past the portrait until it was turned to face the wall. Despite these eerie accounts, Emma who had never personally felt any discomfort or unease in the presence of the portrait, decided to display it in her home. The photograph, with its beautiful antique frame, seemed to be a fitting and attractive addition to her decor. However, Emma's children, Sophia and Ethan, and her partner at the time, David, insisted that the portrait be put away, as they too were convinced that Eva's eyes followed them. In 2015, Emma rediscovered the portrait while decorating for a Halloween party and decided to hang it in the hallway, thinking that its creepy reputation 
would add to the festive atmosphere. The party was a great success, and the photograph, now considered suitably eerie, remained on display long after the decorations had been taken down. For two years the portrait hung in the hallway without incident, its presence no longer a cause for concern. That is, until one decisive day in 2017, when Emma's perception of the photograph would be forever altered. It was a quiet Sunday afternoon, and Emma was sitting in her living room, absorbed in a book, when she decided to take a break and fetch a glass of water. As she walked past the portrait, she glanced at it out of habit, only to be struck by a startling realisation. Aoife was no longer in the photograph. Confused and unnerved, Emma slowly approached the portrait, examining it from various angles to ensure that it wasn't a trick of the light. But no matter how she looked at it, the image remained the same. A plain, empty field where Aoife's figure should have been. Hesitant to investigate further, Emma left the portrait and returned to her reading, trying to push the unsettling incident from her mind. However, curiosity and a sense of unease eventually got the better of her as she found herself drawn back to the hallway, determined to take a closer look. To her shock and disbelief, Aoife had reappeared in the portrait, but she was no longer the solid, concrete figure Emma had grown accustomed to. Instead, she was transparent, a ghostly apparition superimposed over the empty field, her features barely discernible through the hazy veil of her ethereal form. Shaken by this dramatic alteration, Emma retreated to her living room once more, her mind agitated and bemused. She reached out to her friend Fiona, desperate to share her experience and find some sort of validation or explanation. As she recounted the events of the day through a series of text messages, Emma found herself wondering if she had ever truly noticed the background of the portrait before. Had it always been a field, or was that too a figment of her imagination? Fiona, who had always been unnerved by the photograph, urged Emma to take it down to remove the source of her growing unease. But Emma, now filled with a newfound sense of apprehension and respect for the potentially paranormal family heirloom, found herself hesitant to touch it, little and remove it from its place on the wall. As the day wore on and Emma continued to grapple with the implications of what she had witnessed, she found herself drawn back to the portrait once more. This time, she discovered that Aoife had fully returned, her image as solid and tangible as it had ever been. However, the background had changed yet again. It no longer depicted the empty field she had seen before, but something entirely different. Instead, it conveyed a generic, blotchy, watercolour background, which was typical of the time, and was added by artists to mask imperfections. In the end, Emma was left baffled. The portrait, once a cherished piece of family history, had become a source of both fascination and fear, a reminder of what awaits us just beyond the veil of our everyday reality. As the sun began to set and the shadows in the hallway grew longer, Emma found herself staring at the portrait, wondering what secrets it held and what other strange occurrences might lie in store for her, her family, and her future descendants. Now, as Emma gazed upon the portrait, the eyes of Aoife, indeed, now seemed to stare back. Seven years later, in 2024, Emma still possesses the portrait, its powerful presence a constant reminder of that impactful day back in 2017. The events surrounding the photograph have become a part of family lore, whispered about at gatherings and inspiring intrigue and speculation. Although the portrait has remained unchanged since the incident, the legacy of Aoife and the mysteries surrounding her continue to brew, forever entwined 
with the history and identity of Emma's family.